In this lesson, we are going to learn how to graph a quadratic equation, but when it's given in vertex form. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to do this, but we did it using the standard form, which is when they write it like that. So that's what the previous lesson was all about. In this lesson, we're going to use the vertex form instead, which is when they write it like that. So that's what this lesson's all about. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw these quadratics with using this technique. So here we have it. Now, I hope that you've watched my lesson on how to, how to find the vertex when they write the equation like this. Okay, so to be able to draw a quadratic, your first step is that you have to be able to find the vertex. Now, what is the vertex? The vertex is the place where the graph turns, which would be there. Okay, now in the previous lesson, I taught you how to do this when they write the equation like this. And that is where we use that minus b over 2a formula. But that is not what this lesson is about. This lesson is about finding the, being able to find the vertex when they write it like this instead. So what we've looked at in previous lessons was that when they write the x like this in a bracket to the power of 2, then this part here moves the graph either to the left or it moves it to the right. What we have discussed in previous uh, lessons was that when they say x minus 4, that means that we are going to move four places to the right. Okay, so four places to the right. I know it seems weird. Minus means right, plus means left. And then this part over here is responsible for moving the graph upwards or downwards. Okay, now when it's a plus, then it is up. This part here is not opposite. So if it says plus, it means up. If it says minus, it means down. Okay, so that'll be one up. So did you know that a, a normal quadratic or a parabola always has a vertex at zero, zero? That is where all of them originate, or that's where they always begin. Then if you move it four places to the right, so we're going to start here, you're going to go four places to the right, and then you're going to go one place up. So there, that is where the vertex will now be. The vertex will be at positive four and one. And this is why we call this the vertex formula, because it instantly gives you the vertex. That number there and that number there is the vertex. Now, the next step is where we are going to create a table of values. This is a very easy step. So, and this is also the same technique that we used in the previous lesson when we were looking at the standard form. So what we do is just create five spaces, then put your vertex in the middle one. So that would be, what was our vertex? Four and one. Then all that you do is I just want you to go up by one and then again, and then just on the other side, go down by one and then go down again. The reason we like to use this is because of the aspect or the, 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 the um, symmetry. We know that quadratics, when you draw them, whether they go down or whether they go up, they have symmetry across the vertex. What that means, let me just draw this a bit better. What this means is that um, this y value will always be the same as this y value as long as this distance is the same. So what I do is I go one to the left and one to the right. Then I go two to the right and two to the left. So I can use symmetry. So all that you do now is you either decide to use the two and the three, or you can decide to use the five and the six. It really doesn't matter. Just don't use both. It's a bit of a waste of time. I'll show you why now. So I'm gonna use the two and the three. So what I do is I try to find the y values. Now remember, to find the y values, you just take each of these x values and you just literally go plug it into the equation. That's how you find the y value. So for the first one, when x is two, then you can plug, let me do that in a way where we can actually see what we're writing. Okay, so if x is two, then um, to find the y value, you're just gonna get negative seven. So we're gonna put negative seven over there. Um, now when x is, now we're just gonna do when x is three. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace this with a three and let's quickly go work this all out. So we end up with negative one. Now we can actually actually just use symmetry. So what we said was that these quadratics are symmetrical across this line. 
So if you go um, one place to the left and one place to the right, these y values are exactly the same. So what that means is that if you go one to the left and one to the right, then their y values will have to be the same. And if you go two places to the left and two places to the right, their y values are also the same. And you see, this is why we don't have to physically go calculate those ones because we can just use symmetry. You can if you wanted to. If you've got lots of time, <laughs> you can. It doesn't matter. You will get the right answer. So now what we're going to go do is just go plot all of these on our graph. So 2 and negative 7. 2 and negative 7 is over here. 3 and negative 1 is over here. And then 5 and negative 1 is here. And 6 and negative 7 is over here. Okay. And now we're just going to draw like that. And like that. Let's do one more example. So here we have it. So they've given us this equation in vertex form. So step one is just to go find the vertex. So what you must remember is that when they write the x plus one like this with the square, then this moves the graph either left or right. Now you need to know which one it is. When they say x plus one, then that actually means one place to the left. Remember, it's it's opposite of what you would think. So if they say x plus 1, then it means 1 left. If they say x minus 7, then it means 7 right. If they say x plus 2, then it means 2 left. And if they say x minus 3, then it means 3 to the right. So minus means right, plus means left. So here we're going to go 1 to the left. And then this part at the end is responsible for moving us either down or up. Now, minus means down plus means up. So we are moving three down. Okay, so remember that a standard vertex always starts at zero, zero. It always starts at zero, zero. Now, if you move one left, then you're gonna go one place this way, okay? And then you're gonna go three down. So you're gonna end up going one to the left and then three down. So your vertex is gonna be somewhere over here. Okay, and your vertex coordinate, the x value would be negative 1 because you've gone 1 to the left and 3 down, so that would be negative 3. So that would be over here, negative 1, negative 3. Now for step 2, we need to just go do the table of values. So we have x and we have y. And wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, we need another one. I always suggest five. Okay, so put your vertex in the middle one. So that would be, uh, what did we say that was? Negative one and negative three. Then we're gonna use symmetry once again. So we're gonna go one to the left, which is negative two, and go one to the right, which is zero. Then you're gonna go two to the left, so that's negative three, and two to the right, so that would be one. So now what we go do is we go calculate the y values. Now you can either calculate these y values or these y values. Don't do both, it's just a waste of time because we can rather just use symmetry. So I'm gonna use these two because they just look like nice or better numbers. I don't like to use negatives. It's just more weird, right? So to find, so to find these y values now, we're just gonna take those x values and plug them into this equation. So I'm going to start with the zero. So I'm going to take this zero and I'm going to plug it here. So we're going to say y equals to three and then x will be zero. And if you had to go work that out, it's going to end up giving you zero. Okay, so um, if x is zero, then y is also going to be zero. Now we're going to go plug in the one. So I'll do that over here. Plug in x is one. And that's going to give nine so that's going to give us a nine now we use symmetry so remember if you go one to the right and if you go one to the left then the y values will be exactly the same because of symmetry remember on a quadratic if you draw it like that um, this vertex line is a symmetry line so it means everything is the same on the right and on the left so now if you go two places to the right and you go two places to the left then that would also have the same y value. So these y values will be exactly the same. It's so cool, right? So now we can just go plot these points. So that's gonna be 
um, negative 3 and 9. So let's go plot negative 3 and 9, which would be there. Yeah. And then negative 2 and 0, which is there. 0, 0, which is over there. And then 1 and 9, which is there. Okay, so then you're just going to try to draw through that. And there we have it.